Judaism. LAQ. In what ways did the ancient Hebrews influence religions and societies in ancient and modern times? Ancient Israel. Where is Israel located? Ancient Israel, located in the Middle East, was the home of the ancient Hebrew people whose modern descendants are called Jews. Throughout history, this land has also been called Canaan and Palestine. It is located very close to the modern state of Israel, a country in which almost half of the world's Jews live today. It was bordered to the west by the Mediterranean Sea, the Dead Sea, and the kingdoms of Moab, and Judah bordered Israel in the south. North Israel was the city of Damascus and the Assyrian Empire. Today, Israel is bordered by Egypt to the south, Lebanon and Syria to the north, Jordan to the east, and the Mediterranean Sea to the west. Although Israel has a wide variety of climates for such a small country, much of Israel is desert. Rain only falls during the winter months. The Jordan River, the only major river in the country, is Israel's most important source of fresh water. It flows through the center of the country and into the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is the lowest place on Earth, 1,300 feet below sea level. The water that flows into the Dead Sea from the Jordan River has no way to get out, so it evaporates in the desert heat. The evaporation produces deposits of salt, making the Dead Sea seven times saltier than the ocean. The salt deposits were, and continue to be, a valuable natural resource for Israel. Important cities in Israel. Important cities in modern Israel include Bethlehem, believed to be the birthplace of Jesus, Jericho, which is located on the west bank of the Jordan River, Tel Aviv, a bustling modern city, and Jerusalem, the capital of Israel. Jerusalem was the largest and most important city in ancient Israel. It is believed to have been first built around 3000 BCE, but since has been destroyed and rebuilt twice. Archaeologists do not know for certain how old it is or what it originally looked like. The city of Jerusalem is mentioned by name in Egyptian record from around 4,000 years ago. It also appears throughout the Torah, the most important religious text in the Jewish faith. To this day, Jerusalem is a symbol of the Jewish religion and a center of pilgrimage, a journey undertaken for religious reasons. However, the city has also been a source and a center of conflict from its founding to modern times because of its religious and spiritual importance to many different regions and ethnic groups. The Roots of Judaism What role did Abraham play in the culture of the ancient Hebrews? The Torah is one of the oldest religious texts in existence today. Although it is for the most part a religious text, the Torah was also the book of law for the ancient Hebrew people. It contains stories and legends of their origins, travels, and conquests. Like the information in many ancient texts, only some of the information in the Torah has been supported by archaeological evidence. Some of the most important figures in Hebrew traditions is Abraham. The Torah states that Abraham was living in the Mesopotamian city of Ur in Samaria. At the time, the Mesopotamian people practiced polytheism, or the belief in many gods. The Hebrew people believed that God spoke to Abraham and told him to establish a new nation. Abraham obeyed God, left Ur, and traveled to Canaan, which would become the kingdom of Israel. Abraham became the first person to practice monotheism, or the belief in a single God, in the religion that would become Judaism. According to the Torah, Abraham was 75 years old when God called him to create Canaan, and his wife Sarah could no longer have children. However, the Torah states that in Canaan, God made a covenant or agreement with Abraham, promising him that his descendants would inherit the nation of Israel. In turn, Abraham agreed to worship and follow God and only God. Abraham's promise to follow the only one God would establish a religion that was different from the other ancient religions and would go on to influence the formation of many other major monotheistic religions. Followers of Judaism believe that after Abraham's agreed to the covenant, Sarah gave birth to a son Isaac when she was 90 years old. Isaac would go on to found the nation of Israel. According to the Torah, Abraham had also had another son, Ishmael, whose mother was Sarah's handmaiden, who was the founder of the nation of Egypt. Egypt and the Hebrew people would have a long and complicated history.
Make sure before we go on to the next section of text that you have filled in your notes. You may pause and go back and review if you need to. The Legend of the Exodus. Why, what role did Moses play in the Hebrew tradition? Many centuries passed after Abraham went to Israel. According to the Torah, a great time of famine or shortage of food came to the Middle East. People in most nations were starving. Abraham's great-grandson, Joseph, was living in Egypt. Joseph had a dream. In the dream, Joseph was warned the Pharaoh, Egypt's king, to store food during seven years of good harvest. If the people of Egypt stored food, they would not starve during the famine. According to the Torah, the Pharaoh listened to Joseph's dream. He ordered food to be stored. During the next famine, the people of Egypt did not starve. Many Hebrews traveled to Egypt and settled there so they would not starve. Several generations passed. The new Pharaoh grew concerned over a number of Hebrews living in Egypt and enslaved them. The Hebrew people remained in slavery for just over 2,000 years. According to the teachings of Judaism, they were led to freedom by Moses. Moses was a Hebrew. He had been raised as a son of the Pharaoh's daughter. According to the Torah, God spoke to Moses in the form of a burning bush. God commanded him to lead his people back to Israel, also called Canaan. Followers of Judaism believe that Moses tried to convince the Pharaoh to release the enslaved Hebrews, but the Pharaoh would not listen. God then sent ten plagues on Egypt. A plague is a disease or a terrible trouble. After the plagues, the Pharaoh released the enslaved people. Moses led them out of Egypt across the Red Sea, or the Sea of Reeds. Hebrew history states that Moses and his people wandered the desert for 40 years. They were searching for the land of Canaan. According to the Torah, God did not allow Moses to enter Canaan. However, before Moses died, God gave him the Ten Commandments. Moses received them at the top of the Mount Sinai. The Ten Commandments formed the foundation or body of Jewish law. Many later, later societies developed codes of law and tradition based on the Ten Commandments. Many Jews believe that Moses also received the Torah on Mount Sinai. A culture of law. How did Jewish law impact the Hebrew people? Judaism is a religious based on law. This code of law set the ancient Hebrews apart from other nations in the, in the region. The idea of worshiping an all single, a single all-powerful God was new. The people of other nations worshiped many gods. Each god had a particular purpose. Many of the early Mesopotamian religions practiced human sacrifice. Judaism, Judaism did not allow human sacrifice. This is shown in the biblical story of Abraham and Isaac. Abraham was ordered by God to sacrifice his son Isaac. However, Abraham was stopped before carrying it out. Once he had shown his faith in God, the Jewish people believe that their laws were given to them by God. Hundreds of rules and codes are listed in the Torah's book of Levit Leviticus. However, the head, heart of Jewish law is the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments are believed to have been given directly from God to Moses on Mount Sinai. And God spoke these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, who brought thee out of the land Egypt, out of the house of bondage. The Ten Commandments describe clearly and simple a powerful code for good human behavior. They instruct followers of Judaism to believe and honor only one code. They instruct followers to value all life and to honor their parents and older people. They instruct people to live justly or fairly. They also instruct people to learn to control their desires. So far, we have read about the beginnings, laws, and important figures of the ancient Hebrews. In the next part of this concept, we will explore the effect that Jewish law and culture had on the world and continues to have this to this day. Okay, go ahead and pause and make sure you have all your notes. Uh, completed before you move on to the next section. Becoming a Kingdom How did the Kingdom of Israel rise? Jewish holy texts tell the story of King David. It is written that David founded the Kingdom of Israel. David is one of the most famous and interesting figures in the Jewish Bible. According to these texts, David began life as a simple shepherd. He was declared to be the next king by the prophet Samuel. A prophet is someone who speaks for God. Saul was the king of Judah. Saul favored David for his musical skills. However, Saul grew jealous of David when he helped defeat an enemy of Philistines. In this battle, David killed a giant named Goliath using only a slingshot. David learned that King Saul was plotting to kill him. He fled and traveled through Judah. As he traveled, he united the tribes of Israel under his command. When he was ready, David led his forces against Saul and the armies of Israel. David, David led 
David defeated Saul. He became the ruler of Judah and Israel around 1000 BCE. David's first act as king was to capture the city of Jerusalem. Later, he would bring the Ark of the Covenant to Jerusalem. The Ark was believed to be a chest or a box that held the stone tablets carved with the Ten Commandments. As king, David played many roles. He was a powerful warrior who defeated many enemies. He also crushed rebellions. A rebellion is an attempt to take control from someone in power. One rebellion was led by David's son, Absalom. David's many sons often, often quarreled and caused trouble. David was also a poet. He be is believed to have written the book of Psalms. David had many wives. This was a common custom at the time. David once ordered a soldier named Uriah to be sent into battle where David knew he would be killed. David did this so he could marry Uriah's beautiful wife, Bathsheba. David ruled Israel for 40 years before his death. David is one of the most celebrated figures in Hebrew history. He has had many, he had many different skills. He was skilled as a warrior and as a ruler. His religious spirit made him a role model for Israel and other cultures that have drawn from the Hebrew customs. The poetry that is said to be been written by David is popular and often quoted. Even the weaknesses of his character made David a very human and interesting figure. Three faiths. How did Judaism impact other civilizations and religions? Judaism would become the basis for two other great world religions, Christianity and Islam. Both adopted Abraham's single belief, belief in a single God. However, each religion called that God, that God by a different name. Judaism and Christian, Christianity and Islam would become powerful driving forces in human history. The problems between them would lead to wars and destruction. The three faiths would also give rise to powerful empires and great works of art. Christianity drew directly out of Judaism. According to Christian teaching, Jesus, the founder of Christianity, was Jewish. However, he sought to reform or change the faith. The Christian religion adopted much of the Torah and other Jewish holy books into its own Bible. Christians called the Jewish part of their Bible the Old Testament. The teachings of Jesus were added as the New Testament. Islam developed less directly from Judaism. Muslims are members of the Islamic faith. Muslims adapted many of the Torah stories from a different point of view. According to history and custom, most of which comes from the Bible, Arabs are descended from Abraham's son Ishmael. The Ten Commandments play a strong role in both Christianity and Islam. Christianity kept the Ten Commandments without change as part of the Old Testament. Islam kept all but the Fourth Commandment. Islam's holy book is called the Quran. The Quran has verses that are tied to each commandment. The Torah and the Old Testament are filled with appealing stories with larger-than-life characters. They also contain poetry that expresses important life ideas about lives and values. The poetry is written in beautiful crafted, beautifully crafted language. Throughout history, artists such as Michelangelo painted scenes and figures from the Old Testament. The great thinker Moses Maimonides wrote about the problems of faith and free will. Israel never became a large empire. However, Christianity would become the official religion of the Roman Empire. The Roman Emperor Constantine became a Christian in 312 CE. This act would change the ancient world. He, it would make a monotheism the main belief of the Western world. Only a few items and historical records remain from the ancient Hebrews who founded Judaism. However, the effects of their beliefs on the world have been well noted. Judaism, the impact on their beliefs in the world has been well documented. Okay, make sure you have finished your notes and that they're complete if you need to go back and rewind before you move on because you're going to take a quiz on this. Okay, so please make sure that you have complete notes and of course if you need help, come see me.